Good morning, gamers. Welcome to a satisfactory tour. Got plenty to show off here. We'll start where it all began. This here was my first base. I've since moved on to greener pastures, but got the job done for phase one. Uh, you can see the space elevator here. It's not even completely on foundations. I thought about moving it, but I thought it was just funnier to keep it like this. But here was all my smart plating manufacturing. I've still got a whole carton full of those, some iron smelting. The real interesting stuff is more over here. Some copper mines, a little bit of limestone, but nothing too big. And as we crest this hill, you get to see the real meat of this world. Plenty of coal. This was where my first expansion went to, with uh, coal power. And then eventually, I moved on uh, over there first to the cauldron. Uh, and I came back here later to set up some silica processing. Uh, and eventually some trains. Lots of silica going on here. And while we're here, we'll take you into the cavern of obscurity. It's my quartz outpost. There's three pure quartz nodes in here, and then a pure, uh... Actually, I don't know if this is pure. I think this is normal. Yeah, normal Sam. And I've been using this for my, uh... Generation of... Miscellaneous Sam materials. I haven't got it completely fully automated, but... Just doing it the lazy way. On to the true crunchy part of this factory. This ended up being my main base for the majority of the game. Uh, this is actually floor 2. We'll go down to floor 1, see how it all began. This is the place I put the most effort into decorating. I got the programmable RGB lights. I normally keep them pretty dim. Keep the effect subtle. Uh, here's all my steel smelting. Looks like we're at a healthy pace here. Up here we've got more steel processing. And things sort of grew and exploded and spaghettied from here. <laughs> um, I made my second major factory over here. Originally just to process copper and copper by byproducts. Um, some wires and cables, um, and I went to floor 2, building some space elevator parts, some motors, rotors, um, and here's my heavy frames over here, which has been the bane of my existence, always, always. Um, And we've got more copper processing. This is uh, copper sheets. In order to do this, I'm doing the uh, refinery steamed copper sheet recipe. And I bring in water on a train because there's no good like nearby sources of water that I can exploit. Um, and then we've got a lot of electronics here. Circuit boards, computers, and then supercomputers on the next floor. Uh, AI limiters here, more space elevator parts, here is the uh, supercomputer manufacturing, we've got a lot of those. Uh, radio control units, all the good stuff. 
Um, big bottleneck for a while has been these uh, fused modular frames. We're getting there though, we're getting somewhere. Uh, turbo motors, these haven't been too much of a pain. Uh, here is where I set up my particle accelerator for the uh, nuclear pasta. We're almost ready to uh, turn this in for phase five, and here's the rest of uh, the rest of my phase five manufacturing. I was actually surprised it didn't take up more space, but just the quantum stuff has been pretty self-contained. Uh, which, well, I have the uh, aluminium and the fixite triangles. Uh, add another base, and that gets brought in via trains. Oh, by the way, we've got a lot of trains. A lot of train stations. Um, <laughs> at first it was just this one station here, and then it grew into a second, and then a third, and then a fourth, and I had to keep making novel ways to get around, and eventually I put this one here as the most recent addition. It's all beautifully spaghetti in the best way that we can possibly do it. Here's all of the uh, quantum stuff. I love how this thing looks. It's so pretty. And uh, right now we are just waiting on um, the superposition oscillator production. I can actually wrap this up. We have more uh, crystal oscillators than I thought. But that's our main bottleneck right now. We're just waiting for this to fill up. I need about 400 total. Uh, so by my calculations, that's about two hours or so. And then we can... Uh, we're almost done with these. I still need to make more of these. But So yeah, we are just waiting around. That's the main reason I'm making this video, actually. Uh, drones are for time crystals and diamonds. They are... well, one of these is for fuel. I make the fuel off-site and drone them in, and then the fuel gets piped to the other drones. And these drones go over to... Uh, there's some lovely coal deposits over there that I only use for this. Uh, over here is some supplementary, uh, three floors of supplementary, uh, basic products, a lot of screws, of course, iron rods, rotors, motors, uh, iron plates, uh, a lot of it feeds, here's some Katerium processing as well for the AI limiters. And then up here on floor 3, the most recent addition here is a lot of modular frames, so I can get heavy frames uh, on the books. Because for the longest time my bottleneck was these heavy frames and uh, these modular frames, I just was not making enough of them. So I made four more assemblers, and that seems to be enough, but now my bottleneck is uh, steel pipes which I thought I was making plenty of, and I was making plenty of, but there's always more. Always need more. Um, but that's it for this main base. And over here is the, uh, the hub, of course. I sort of found this island, it was very... Uh, it was a lot more pronounced before I, uh, Put, built an entire factory around it, but it serves as a nice middle point with a lot of hypertubes going every which way. In fact, let's take one of these hypertubes now. Main oil processing is actually down this tube. I quite like this path, this is one of my favorites. Really flows with the uh, scenery. I really like these hypertubes. I know there's ways to like rocket yourself across the map with uh, like stringing multiple hypertubes together, but I sort of like the simple ones. Maybe once I get more impatient, I'll build a rocket, but that's for later. 
Uh, this is probably the factory x uh, This is the factory I've spent most time making pretty, although I never really, uh, I didn't put the roof on over there on that side, but... Uh, this is the most complete building I've made. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. There's this one line of plastic going going over yonder. Um, here's all of my byproduct. On, on the first floor is all the fuel processing, and on the second floor is all of the byproduct uh, stuff. So this just takes one pure node of uh, crude oil, spits it into 10 refineries, and 20, um, 20 fuel generators. Looks very nice in here. I should make more nice buildings like this. So we're gonna hitch a ride on our copper train here. Uh, we're gonna go over to the other base hall. I like these uh, ascending spiral designs. They're very fun. Very elegant. This uh, goofy fucking trumpet intersection is very much on the fly. Um, these turbine interchanges are much more precise. Uh, I put a lot more effort into making sure they were correct and good. Well, we're on this little journey, I'll take a moment to introduce you to my spreadsheet. Uh, I made all this myself. Um, big giant list of all the recipes in the game. Uh, and most importantly, so all of the game information you see in this, these columns. And then the tape, the column I find myself using most, since it's still raw cost per unit, it really helps me, like, compare uh, alternate recipes and see, like, uh, for example, uh, uh, where's screws? Here's screws. So screws in column 31 through 33. Uh, you can really see the difference in raw material cost of the steel screw compared to like cast screws and regular screws and the output in Here's the other uh, turbine interchange I built. Uh, this one is very important. I have a lot of trains going through here. Big intersection. And here is Alacrity. This train is actually delivering silica for uh, aluminium processing. I remember when I first came here, there were so many uh, big bad monsters, and all I had was my uh, melee, the uh, melee basher and xeno basher. Uh, and I was struggling so much against, like, the, the radioactive guys. Big tusky boys. So here's my first aluminium plant. Uh, it's still humming along quite nicely. We are producing plenty and plenty of... Uh, aluminium sheets. It's actually full. It's quite nice. Uh, maybe I need to make more sheets. Surprised. Anyhow, here is the more recent expansion with some uh, SAM processing. This is all to make an absolute truckload of triangles. There are so many triangles. This is actually uh, almost done with its workload. So this is the uh, um, biochemical sculptors, that's what they're called, right? Yeah, biochemical sculptors. This is almost ready to turn in to the, uh, to the space elevator. Yeah, here's my SAM mine. All gets processed here, all the encoders. And... Well, we're actually 
not making a surplus anymore, which is surprising. Um, but it's all getting shipped out to, uh, to the cauldron. I have a lot of coupons that I need to spend. So here we see our uranium processing. Over here on the left is all of the uh, non-radioactive parts, all of the electromagnetic control rods and things, also some copper that gets shipped off elsewhere, um, sulfuric acid, and over here on the right, got all the fun stuff. Whee! It was funny when I first uh, when I first built all of these uh, six nuclear plants. I was thinking, "Wow, I have so much more power than I will ever need." And it turns out I actually got kind of close to reaching full potential here. Didn't quite get there, but got close. Um, plenty of stockpile for these, uh, radioactive behemoths. I was running, I had a lot of water issues for a while. I was trying to pump it in from a, uh, pressure well over yonder, but that was being a little bit too finicky for me, and I eventually just gave up and went with a more sensible option of just piping it in from the nearby lake. And here's the isolated, uh, diamond production with particle accelerators. Very cool machines. I like them a lot. What are we doing here? Not bad. Keeping on top of production. So yeah, that's my, uh, little factory. Put in... how many hours have I done here? 160, not all of that. Well, most of that is probably spent idle, I would say. Maybe 70 or 80 hours of active time. Um... I just leave it on in the background while I'm making food and whatnot. Fantastic game. I've loved it so much. This isn't my first world. Uh, I played it up until uh, steel production uh, and trains in uh, early access. That was a couple of years ago. I'm really glad I got to come back to this game once it was finally fully released and uh, get through it all. Just a couple more hours, and I can launch that space elevator one more time. Thanks for checking out my factory. Stay cozy.